Jesus, the Son of Mary and the Messiah. Jesus, the Son of Mary and the Messiah, between Islam and Christianity. Here are ten points that every Christian really should know about Jesus, peace be upon him. The status of Jesus in Islam and Christianity. Christians and Muslims have differed for centuries over the nature and status of Jesus Christ. Both religions revere him and both believe him to be of virgin birth. Both religions claim to know his true nature and purpose. Muslims believe that Christian leaders of old altered the scriptures in order to redefine the status of this noble and virtuous prophet of Almighty God. In fact, eminent Christian theologians readily admit that the Bible has been altered throughout the ages, so in that respect, there is no disagreement. The renowned biblical scholar from the USA, Dr. Bard D. Ehrman, formerly the president of the Southeast Region of the Society of Biblical Literature, stated, one of the most amazing and perplexing features of mainstream Christianity is that seminarians who learn the historical critical method in their Bible classes appear to forget all about it when it comes time for them to be pastors. They are taught critical approaches to scripture, they learn about the discrepancies and contradictions, they discover all sorts of historical errors and mistakes. They find that there are other books that were at one time considered canonical but that ultimately did not become part of scripture. They come to recognize that a good number of the books of the Bible are pseudonymous, written in the name of an apostle by someone else. That in fact we don't have the original copies of any of the biblical books, but only copies made centuries later, all of which have been altered. C. Bardi, Ehrman, Jesus, interrupted, revealing the hidden contradictions in the Bible and why we don't know about them. This altering of the original message of Jesus is also stated in the Islamic texts, the Quran and prophetic tradition. Verily, this is the true narrative concerning Jesus. Indeed God is Almighty, the All-Wise. Quran 3 hours 62 minutes. That which has been mentioned to you about Jesus, peace be upon him, is the true tale that contains no lie or doubt. There is no one worthy of worship besides Allah alone. Allah is mighty in his authority, and wise in his planning and instruction. If they turn away from what you have brought and do not follow you, then it is because they are corrupt. Allah knows those who cause corruption in the earth, and he will recompense them for that. Ali Imran, 62-63 Muslims believe that God sent another prophet after the prophet Jesus, whose coming was foretold in previous scriptures such as the Torah revealed to Moses and in the Gospels that were revealed to Jesus. This final prophet was Muhammad. God stated in the Quran, Say, O Muslims, We believe in Almighty God, and that which has been revealed to us, and that which has been revealed to Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, Jacob, and to the tribes of Israel. And that which has been given to Moses and Jesus, and that which has been given to the prophets from their Lord. We do not discriminate against any of them, and to him, the one true God, we have submitted. Quran 2 136 Tell the Jews and Christians who make these baseless claims that you have faith in Allah and the Quran which he revealed to you, and in what he revealed to Abraham and his sons Ishmael and Isaac and to Jacob, and in what he revealed to the prophets from the descendants of Jacob. Say that you have faith in the Torah which Allah gave to Moses, and the gospel which he gave to Jesus, and in all the scriptures that he gave to every one of the prophets. With no distinction between them, having faith in all of them, not only having faith in some and rejecting others. Tell them that you humbly surrender to him alone. Al-Baqarah, 136 God also informed mankind that the previous scriptures have been changed, altering much of the original message, and can no longer be relied upon. So from God's mercy, he sent the final prophet, whose name was Muhammad, peace be upon him, with the final revelation, the Quran. God protected it from corruption and alteration. The following are some important points of belief with respect to Jesus, peace be upon him. Jesus, peace be upon him, was a beloved prophet, messenger, and devoted servant of God. 1. Muslims believe that Jesus was born of miraculous birth. God said in the Quran, The example of Jesus in the sight of God is like the example of Adam. God created him from clay and then said to him, Be, and he came into being. This is the truth from your Lord, so do not be from those who doubt. Quran 3 59-60 With Allah, the example of the creation of Jesus, peace be upon him, is like the creation of Adam, who was born from dust without a father or mother. Allah simply said to him, Become a man. And he became as Allah willed.
How do you then assume that Jesus is a God on the basis that he has no father when you accept that Adam is human despite his having no father or mother? The undoubtable truth about Jesus is that which was revealed to you by your Lord, so do not be one of those who doubt and are unsure. Instead, be firm on the truth that you have. Quran 3.59-60 From the outset it must be made clear that Muslims believe that Jesus is a prophet of God, born from virgin birth, from a noble mother, Mary, who was untouched by any man. The angels said to Mary, O Mary, verily God has chosen you, purified you from unbelief and immoral conduct, and chosen you above the women of creation. Quran 3.42 Remember, O Messenger, when the angel said to Mary, Peace be upon her Allah has chosen you because of the praiseworthy qualities you have. He has purified you from all defects, and chosen you over all the other women of your time. Quran 3.42 Then she was informed that she would have a son. O Mary, verily God gives you the glad tidings of a word spoken by him. His name will be the Messiah Jesus, son of Mary, held in honor in this world and in the hereafter, and of those brought near to God. Quran 3.45 Remember, O Messenger, when the angel said, O Mary, Allah gives you good news of a child who will be created without a father. Merely by a word from Allah, such as be, and he will become a child by Allah's will. The name of this child will be the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary. He will have a high rank in our world and the afterlife, and he will of those who are made close to Allah. Quran 3.45 She was a virgin, untouched so she asked, O oh my Lord, how shall I have a son when no man has touched me? He replied, So it will be, for God creates what he wills. When he has decreed something, he only says to it, Be, and it is. Quran 3.47 Mary was surprised that she was to have a child without a husband and said in astonishment, how can I have a child when no man has come near me in a lawful or unlawful way? The angel said to her, Just as Allah will create a child for you without a father, he creates whatever he wishes even though it may be out of the ordinary. When Allah wishes for something, he says be and it is. Nothing can stop him doing as he wills. Quran 3.47 So Jesus was created from a command from God Almighty. He is not the Son of God and nor is Mary, the Mother of God. In defense of the accusations against his mother, God promised Mary that Jesus would speak whilst still a baby. He will speak to the people in the cradle and in manhood. And he will be one of the righteous. Quran 3.46 This child will miraculously speak to people when he is a small baby, as well as when he grows up and becomes a man. He will tell them what is best for them in their religious and worldly affairs. He will also be one of those who are righteous in their words and actions. Quran 3.46 2. Muslims believe Jesus was a prophet sent by God, not the Son of God, nor part of a trinity. After Jesus was taken into the heavens, Christians incorrectly began to believe that since Jesus had no worldly human father, then God must be his literal father. And so the author of the Gospels of John who never met Jesus stated almost a century after Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. 1 John 4 verse 9 The vast majority of Christian scholars do not believe that John or any of the apostles wrote these words. So these are clearly not the words of God, nor the words of Christ. And this ultimately led to the prophet Jesus, peace be upon him himself being worshipped by later Christians. Consequently, this was the introduction of the worship of others besides God into Christianity. Islam categorically forbids this attribution of a son to God. Say, he is Allah, the one. Allah is the self-sufficient he begets not, nor was he begotten, and there is none co-equal or comparable unto him. Quran 112 1-4 Say, O Messenger, he is Allah who is alone in being a deity. There is no deity except him. Alone, without another, indivisible with absolute and permanent unity and distinct from all else. The one and only true deity, unique in his essence, attributes and deeds. He is the master to whom belongs all sovereignty and perfect, beautiful qualities. The one to whom all creation turned to. He who is absolute, 
perfect, complete, essential, self-sufficient and sufficient to meet the needs of all creation. The one eternally and constantly required and sought, depended upon by all existence, and to whom all matters will ultimately return. The one who did not give birth to anyone, nor did anyone give birth to him. So he has no offspring may he be glorified nor any parent. He either begets nor is born. Nor does he have any equal from his creation. Nor is there to him any equivalent. Quran 112.1-4 Indeed there is no proof to show that any of the disciples of Christ worshipped Jesus because they knew that to worship anyone other than God, whom the Muslims refer to as Allah, would be a clear violation of the first and most important of all the commandments in the Bible. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourselves any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down yourselves to them, nor serve them. Exodus 20 Therefore to direct worship of any sort towards the prophet Jesus or his mother is a clear violation of this universally agreed upon commandment. God commands similarly in the Quran. And from his signs are the night and the day, and the sun and moon so do not prostrate to the sun or the moon but prostrate to God alone. The one who created them if it is he whom you truly claim to worship. Quran 41:37. From the signs of Allah that point towards his greatness, and oneness is the night, and the day in their coming after one another, and the sun and moon. O people, do not prostrate to the sun nor the moon, rather, prostrate to Allah alone who created them all, if you truly do worship him. So if they show arrogance, turning away, not prostrating to Allah the Creator, the angels that are with Allah glorify and praise him, may he be glorified, throughout the day and night anyway. And they do not become bored of worshipping him. Fusilat 37-38 Furthermore God states, They have disbelieved who say, God is the Messiah son of Mary. Quran 5 hours 72 minutes The Christians who say that Allah is the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary have committed disbelief, as they have attributed lordship to someone other than Allah. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, himself said to them, O Israelites, worship Allah alone. He is my Lord and your Lord. We are all his servants. Whoever ascribes anything as a partner to Allah, then Allah will not allow them to ever enter paradise, and their place will be the fire of hell. They will have no one to help or assist them before Allah and no one to save them from the punishment that awaits them. Almighty 72 And they have disbelieved who say, God is the third of three in a trinity. Quran 5 hours 73 minutes The Christians who say that Allah is part of the Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit have committed disbelief. Allah is far above such a statement. Allah is not many, but He is only one God who has no partner. If they do not stop saying such things, a painful punishment will afflict them. Will these people not retract this statement, repent to Allah and ask His forgiveness for the idolatry they committed? Allah is forgiving towards the one who repents, whatever may have been the sin, even if it was disbelief. Allah is compassionate to the believers. Almighty 73-74 3. Muslims believe that Jesus and Mary were noble humans, servants of God and not objects of worship. As such Muslims revere the Prophet Jesus, and they likewise revere Mary, the mother of the Messiah. God stated in the Quran, the Messiah son of Mary is but a messenger of God and messengers before him have passed away, and his mother was a truthful woman they both used to eat food. Quran 5 hours 75 minutes The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, was only a messenger like other messengers. Just as death occurs to other messengers, it will occur to him as well. His mother, Mary, was a truthful and sincere woman. Both of them were in need of and used to consume food. How can they be gods when they were in need of food? Look, O Messenger, and think about how I make clear to them the signs indicating my oneness and the falsehood of their extremism in attributing lordship to others besides me. Despite this, they do not recognize these signs. Then look and think about how they are misled from the truth, despite these clear signs indicating my oneness. Almighty 75 In this verse God makes clear that Jesus is a messenger of God, Mary is a truthful woman, and both were humans because they ate food which was provided to them by their Lord showing that they were reliant upon their Lord. 
for any Muslim to direct worship to a prophet or any other being besides God is considered to be idolatry. For, Jesus was a sincere and humble servant of God. And behold, God will say on the day of judgment, O Jesus, son of Mary, did you say unto men, Worship me and my mother as gods instead of Allah? He will say, Glory to thee. Never could I say what I had no right to say. Had I said such a thing, you would indeed have known it. You know what is in my inner self, though I know not what is in yours. For you know in full all that is hidden. Never did I say to them anything except what you commanded me to say, Worship Allah, my Lord and your Lord. And I was a witness over them while I lived among them. When you took me up, you were the watcher over them, and you are a witness to all things. Quran 5 116 -117. Remember that Allah will address Jesus son of Mary, peace be with him, on the day of rising and ask him whether he told people to worship him and his mother besides Allah. Jesus will reply, declaring Allah's purity, it was not right for me to tell them anything but the truth. If I had said that you would know it, because nothing is hidden from you. You know what I keep hidden within myself, but I do not know what is with you. You are the only one who knows everything that is hidden and everything that is apparent. Jesus will say to his Lord, I only told people what you instructed me to tell them, to worship you alone. For as long as I remained amongst them I watched over what they were saying. When my term ended and I was raised to the sky alive, you, O Lord, were watching their actions. You are a witness to everything and nothing is hidden from you, so you know what I said to them and what they said after me. Quran 5 116 -117. Even in the Bible there are clear statements showing that Jesus, peace be upon him, would direct worship to Allah. Read here a verse from the Christian Bible read by all Christian Arabs. And Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good except Allah alone. Mark 10 verse 18. Here Jesus distinguishes himself from God, i.e. that he is the worshipper and Allah is the one to be worshipped. In the Old Testament of the Arabic Bible, we find the following. In the beginning Allah created the heavens and the earth. Genesis verse 1. Many Christians in the West become astonished when they read these words, because they imagine that Allah is exclusively the deity of the Muslims. But the reality is that Allah is the Lord and God who created Adam and made him the first prophet. He is the same God who sent Noah, Abraham. Isaac, Ishmael, Jacob, Moses, John. Jesus and Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon them all. Dot. Many people in the West perceive Allah as a foreign, God of the Arabs. But now you can see that the name Allah refers to the one God, Lord and Creator of all existence, who has the sole right to be worshipped. 5. Muslims believe that Jesus was not crucified but rather he was taken up into the heavens before he could be harmed. They said in boast, we killed the Messiah Jesus son of Mary, the messenger of God. But they killed him not, nor did they crucify him, but it was only made to appear as such to them. Quran 4 157 I cursed them because they proudly, but falsely said, We killed the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. They did not kill him as they claimed, nor did they crucify him. But they killed and crucified a man whom Allah made to resemble Jesus, so they thought the person who was killed was Jesus. Those Jews who claim to have killed him and those Christians who surrendered him over to them are in doubt and confusion regarding the matter. They have no knowledge, but make guesses that are of no worth against the truth. Truly, they did not kill Jesus nor crucify him. Instead, Allah saved Jesus from their plot and raised him in body and spirit to himself. Allah is mighty in his dominion and nothing can overpower him. He is wise in his planning, decisions and laws. The Quran, al nisa for 157-158. The Quran informs us. And remember when God said, O Jesus, I will take you and raise you to myself and clear you from the forged statements of those who disbelieve. Quran 3.55. Allah also planned against them by saying to Jesus, O Jesus, I will take you away alive, raise your body and soul to me, rid you of the filth of those who disbelieved you and distance you from them. I will make those who follow you part of the true religion, which includes acceptance of Muhammad, peace be upon him and they will have greater proof and might over those who disbelieve you until the day of resurrection. Then to me alone will be your return on the day of resurrection, and I will pass true judgment between you regarding your differences. Ali Imran 355
so he was raised to the heavens before they could capture him and kill him. Then God placed his image on another who was killed in his place. This further leads to the Islamic belief that he was not resurrected after death because he did not die. However, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, stated that Jesus will descend before the last day to establish God's worship and justice on earth, he will then die as others die. This ascension of Jesus into the heavens is also mentioned in the Bible. And while they were gazing into heaven as Jesus ascended, behold, two men stood by them in white robes, angels, and said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into heaven? This Jesus, who was taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Acts 1 verse 11 Christian scribes however decided to make this ascension seem as though it occurred after the so-called resurrection so as to fit in with later Christian doctrine which prescribed that Jesus, the Son of God, died for the sins of mankind. So without the death and subsequent resurrection of Christ, this doctrine would have no validity. Islam teaches that each individual carries the burden of his own sins or the sins he teaches others and God readily accepts the repentance of the believing servant when he seeks forgiveness from God by calling upon him directly and seeking his mercy without any need of intercessors. Islam is vehemently monotheistic and regards any act of worship directed towards other than God to be polytheistic. So worship such as supplication, prostration, seeking refuge, seeking divine aid, assistance and support, seeking forgiveness and deliverance, and so on can only be sought from the one true God. Allah 6. Muslims affirm and believe in the miracles of Jesus, peace be upon him, that took place by the permission of God. O Jesus, son of Mary, remember my favor to you and to your mother when I supported you with the angel Gabriel so that you spoke to the people from the cradle as a baby and in maturity. Behold, I taught you the book and the wisdom, the Torah and the gospel. And you made out of clay the figure of a bird and you breathed into it, and it became a living bird by my permission, and you healed those born blind, and the lepers by my permission. And behold, you brought forth the dead by my permission. And when I restrained the children of Israel from you when they resolved to kill you after you came to them with clear proofs, and those who disbelieved among them said, This is nothing but magic. Quran 5 colon 110 Remember when Allah addressed Jesus, peace be upon him, and told him to remember Allah's favor to him when he created him without a father. To his mother, Mary, peace be upon her, when he chose her over all the women of her time, and upon him when he strengthened him with Gabriel, peace be upon him. Allah told him that he used to speak to people as a baby, calling them to Allah, and that he used to speak to them in his adulthood, telling them what Allah had sent him with. Allah reminded him of the favor of being taught how to write and that he taught him the Torah that he had revealed to Moses, peace be upon him, and the gospel that he revealed to him. He was reminded of the favor of being taught the secrets of the sacred law and its benefits and wisdom. Allah reminded him of how he would make the shape of a bird from clay, blow into it, and it used to become a living bird. He used to cure the person who was born blind, and he would treat the leper and heal his skin. He also used to bring the dead to life by praying to Allah to give them life. All of this happened with Allah's permission. Another favor that Allah reminded him about was that Allah protected him from the Israelites when they intended to kill him after he brought to them clear miracles. The only thing they could do was to deny them, and they said, Jesus has brought nothing but plain sorcery. Almida 110 These miracles were performed by the permission of God as a sign for the people of his prophethood and truthfulness. Many of the prophets were given miracles by the permission of Allah. Moses parted the Red Sea by God's permission, Muhammad split the moon in two by God's permission, and so on. 7. Jesus is the brother of the prophets. The prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, said, I am the closest of all the people to Jesus the son of Mary in this life and in the life after death. His disciples asked him, How is that, O messenger of God? He replied, The prophets are paternal brothers, their mothers are different, but their religion is one, and there was no prophet between myself and Jesus. It is established by way of the Torah, the Gospels, the Quran and the authentic prophetic tradition that the lineage of Muhammad and Jesus goes back to the prophet Abraham, peace be upon him. Abraham had two sons, Ishmael and Isaac. Isaac's son was Jacob, also known as Israel. Jacob had twelve sons from whom emanate the children and tribes of Israel and its prophets. From the lineage of the prophet Ishmael descended the prophet Muhammad through the Arabian tribes. 
All of mankind are obligated by these revealed texts to accept Muhammad as the final prophet and the Quran as the final revelation that has abrogated all previous revelations. God commanded humans to testify that there is no deity worthy of worship in truth except for Almighty God, and Muhammad is his servant and messenger. And Jesus the son of Mary is his servant and messenger. You too can testify to this right now. 8. The unbelievers plotted against Jesus in his life to have him killed but God saved him. God said in the Quran, Meanwhile the disbelievers plotted to have Jesus killed, and God plotted in response, and God is the best of plotters. Quran 3.54 The disbelievers from the Israelites plotted to kill Jesus, peace be upon him, so Allah planned to leave them in their misguidance. And he made another person resemble Jesus, peace be upon him, on the occasion when they actually tried to murder him. Allah is the best plotter, because there can be nothing more severe than his plot against his enemies. Allah also planned against them by saying to Jesus, O oh Jesus, I will take you away alive, raise your body and soul to me, rid you of the filth of those who disbelieved you and distance you from them. I will make those who follow you part of the true religion, which includes acceptance of Muhammad, peace be upon him. And they will have greater proof and might over those who disbelieve you until the day of resurrection. Then to me alone will be your return on the day of resurrection, and I will pass true judgment between you regarding your differences. 56. As for those who disbelieved you and the truth you brought to them, I will punish them severely in the world by making them suffer being killed, imprisoned and disgraced. And in the afterlife, I will punish them in the fire of hell. They will have no one to help them against the punishment. Ali Imran, 54-56 The unbelievers plotted to kill Jesus, but God plotted in response to the wrongdoers. So this deemed the plot of God to be a praiseworthy attribute because it established justice. God changed the form and features of one of the people present so that he resembled Jesus. It is said that one of those who plotted against Jesus was changed by God to look like Jesus, and was executed in his place, though he pleaded that he was not Jesus. He left out to get Jesus killed but found himself being arrested and executed. So that sealed the plot of God against them in the best way. Another saying is that when the unbelievers came to seize Jesus, Jesus asked his disciples who would wish to take his place in this world to be seized and killed and in turn received the promise of paradise for his sacrifice. So one of the disciples stepped forward, was seized and executed. In this is the fruition of the plot of God in response to their plotting and that they were not able to kill Jesus. God stated, They say in boast, We killed the Messiah Jesus son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. But they killed him not, nor did they crucify him. But the resemblance of Jesus was put over another man. Quran 4 157 I cursed them because they proudly, but falsely, said, We killed the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. They did not kill him as they claimed, nor did they crucify him, but they killed and crucified a man whom Allah made to resemble Jesus, so they thought the person who was killed was Jesus. Those Jews who claimed to have killed him and those Christians who surrendered him over to them are in doubt and confusion regarding the matter. They have no knowledge, but make guesses that are of no worth against the truth. Truly, they did not kill Jesus nor crucify him. Anissa, for 157. 9. Muslims believe that Jesus, peace be upon him, is the anointed Messiah who will return at the end of time and fight and kill the Antichrist. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, By him in whose hand is my very soul, Jesus, son of Mary, will soon descend among you as a just judge. He will break the cross, kill the swine, abolish the Josiah the duty paid by non-Muslims living under the protection of a Muslim country, and the wealth will pour forth to such an extent none will accept charity. Bukhari no. 2222 The cross is not but an object of torture and execution used in ancient times, it is not a symbol of God or Christ. So it is strange that centuries after Christ, it was used as a charm, kissed, revered and worshipped would Jesus recognize this strange practice to be a teaching that he taught his disciples? Furthermore, Jesus himself was not crucified so it has no connection to him, even symbolically. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, also said, There is no prophet between me and Jesus, peace be upon him. He will descend to the earth, and when you see him, you will recognize him as a man of medium height, reddish fair, 
wearing two light yellow garments. He will look as if drops were falling down from his head though it will not be wet. He will kill the Antichrist and will live on the earth for forty years and then die. Then the Muslims will pray the funeral prayer for him. Abu Dawud no. 4324 So the true followers of Jesus today believe also in Muhammad as a messenger and devoted servant of the same God who sent Jesus. 10. Choose Islam today. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Whoever says, I testify that none has the right to be worshipped except God alone. He has no partners in worship and Muhammad is his devoted servant and messenger, and Jesus is his devoted servant, the son of his maid servant Mary. He was God's word which he announced unto Mary and his spirit, and he testifies that paradise is true, and hellfire is true. Then God will enter him into paradise to whichever of the eight gates of paradise he pleases. Bukhari, no. 3435. This single utterance spoken sincerely and truthfully will enter you into the Islamic fold and put you on a path to paradise and God's eternal pleasure. Abu Khadija Abdul Wahid Alam.